Hello, my beautiful people. How are you? Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm a cash-based budgeter here in Western Australia. And this is just me documenting my journey and trying to get my family out of the rat race of living paycheck to paycheck. So today is my rollover day. I take all the money that I have left over in my wallets and then I reset for the week ahead. So big changes in the rollover. We're not doing the traditional rollover where um, I am actually putting all the rollover money this time around to challenges. Um, one of the challenges that I really want to focus on this time around is this last minute Christmas cookie one. This one is from Mystic Budgets. She's got an Etsy store. It's called the Sassy Mystic Budgets. Um, absolutely stunning individual. She was one of the first people that ever gave me support on this journey. And I had to support her when I saw this. It was just so adorably cute that I had to have it. So what do I have? What I'm going to do is take out the monies I have here in the family wallet. So that's there. Got all right, so any more monies? Nope. So we'll put that to the side. I do have some. So if I, even though I have finished the $5 challenge that I had, um, I am still saving all my 20s, uh, sorry, all my fives. What am I saying, 20s? I'm still saving all my fives because that is an amazing way to fund challenges or sinking funds. Um, that is why I think since I'm already in a habit of saving all the $5 notes uh, that come as change, why stop? You know, I obviously can do that. It's doable. So what have I got here? I've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now, I need to decide if I want to fund any other challenges that I've got going at the moment. And what I might do no, you know what? If I finish this challenge, I finish this challenge. <laughs> All right, so we've got 15 here. How is everyone going? Like Christmas has been crazy, hasn't it? Um, or I should say the lead up to Christmas has been crazy. I think, you know, everyone gets tired because of the year um, that has been and they are just looking forward to the break and, you know, unwinding totally understand that um i'm i for one i'm looking forward to the christmas break uh, my company is having a two-week mandatory shutdown so we have to take that as um leave but you know what we're all well <laughs> we're not upset about that because we really we just would like the time off all right so that's 15 um so now in this um, challenge, it was $4 for these icons. However, I don't want to put coins, so I will just go ahead and make these $5. So that's, I'll do a tree here. So like I was saying, like everyone is tired and just looking forward to the Christmas break. I haven't finished my Christmas shopping, which is strange for me, but what I have been doing is like I see something and I think of someone and I'm like, yep, I'm buying it. But I feel as though it's not that I don't have the money. The challenges uh, help me get the money. So that's the one thing that I'm super grateful for. Um, however, I'm not sure why. Maybe because I wasn't sure of what I wanted to get for people. So maybe I, I actually don't know why. Or whether it's just that I allowed work to kind of overtake and it you know just didn't get the motivation to actually do some decent shopping but what I have done is 
done quite a bit of Black Friday sales <laughs> um, shopping. So those boxes will start coming in soon. And purely because I what I did was um, hair care, skin care. Um, I actually didn't buy any clothes this time. I did buy some electronics, um, bought some Christmas gifts in the Black Friday sales. So, um, so that's how I, but I expect those boxes to be coming. So I've done quite a bit of shopping. It's just, I still feel I need to do some more, which I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about it because Christmas is not far away, which is kind of scary. All right. So that's a five there. Let's put 10. So that's two more icons. Let's do. Now, this challenge I am doing purely um, so that I can have extra monies for the grocery shopping for Christmas. So you know how you have to go and buy. You might be buying a turkey. You might be buying a ham. Um, you might be buying, you know, all the condiments for side dishes or entrees and desserts and things like that. Or um, So I, my husband's family does usually Christmas at their house and we go along. And so obviously I have to take a couple of dishes. So all that is technically above your usual grocery bill. And so I thought, what, how nice would it be is to have this cash to just do Christmas grocery shopping, which I thought, you know, at least that's how I thought, wow, you know, I could actually do that. This binder, Lord. All right. Hopefully the next video I do will be me doing some cash condensing. <laughs> I keep saying that I need to do it and I just never get around to doing it. Sorry, everyone. All right. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 here. And what have I got left? I've got $40 left. Um, I know where I can put this. Is it uh, Christmas? All right, yes, it'll be the sales. So Black Friday sales are already done, so I need to put that money back in the bank. But this will be for Boxing Day. I haven't adjusted my table really well just this time around so I might as well put the entire 40 in there right and that way I'm way ahead for Boxing Day so we've got 10 20 30 and 40 that's a good chunk for Boxing Day sale I actually don't know if I, I don't think I'll be doing any Boxing Day sale, but because of that long break that I have to take, even though it's it's annual leave, I've got enough annual leave to cover me. But would it be nice like if I plan to make plans with friends to catch up so I don't have to worry about where, you know, which binder, which, you know, where I'm going to take the money from. I have it here if hubby and I want to go to the movies. I've got some money here. So this is why I think this is an excellent thing for me to do for that Christmas break. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. This is brilliant. $110 already. I'm very happy with that. And this is all just rollover money. I'm making a point to make sure that I have as much rollover money as possible to fund these challenges. And that's how I'm going to use rollover money moving forward however i do have coins now i wish i didn't laminate this because it kind of is shiny isn't it now this challenge is from the taylor louise budgets what if i turn that light off would that help oh sorry if, if the lighting is pretty dark however i think this helps with so th seeing this one so this one um she's got the one thousand dollar um change challenge but she also has got this 252 which i thought would be perfect um for where i am right now and i'll start with one thousand dollar one in the new year bit of life update um i got into a bit of a car accident 
a few days back. I got rear-ended. That wasn't fun. Ooh, what poison is this? United Nations 15th, 50th anniversary, 20 cents. Oh, I haven't seen a 20 cent. I'm going to put that aside because I haven't seen one of those and you never know. Could be something. Uh, I did have one color coin uh, in the $2. So let's just put these aside for now. So that's 10. Ah, here's the one. This one. Ooh. Oh, dear Lord. It's fallen on the table. Anyway, it was a colored coin. I'm going to find it later. And <laughs> um, yeah, I have to move my chair and all. So I'm going to find it later. All right. But it was a colored coin. I don't know which one. I think it was a United. No, Commonwealth Games. Yes, Commonwealth Game one. So that's another 10. Doing really well with coins here. So that's six, seven, eight. What's this one? This one says International Year of Peace, $1. I'll put that aside because I'll check it out to see if it's worth saving that one. Um, and it's purely about how many of those were minted in that particular year. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's thirty dollars in coins alone. That's crazy, right? That's a dollar. Another dollar. Um, so yeah, so I got rear-ended and the guess what? The guy just took off. He hit me um, and he reversed out and drove off. The car sustained some damage. I did go and get an x-ray done, so I'm good. I don't have any fractures or anything. I don't suffer with any whiplash, but I was a bit stiff. So I have done a couple of physio sessions, but I'm feeling really good. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Everything happens, you know, around this time of the year, I think. Um, but you know I guess I have to look at it from this other perspective that my son was not in the car when that happened um, I'm safe you know the car is damaged like the car has had some bumper damage which I'm not sure what the insurance is planning to do but I'm healthy I'm fine sometimes you do have to look at that all right, I don't know where I put my calculator. And without my calculator, I cannot count. I don't know if you guys know this about me. Or if you're new here, I am terrible at math. So just give me a second while I try and find my calculator, which I just did. All right, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33, 40, 50, 60, 70, 33, 70. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can get rid of all, quite a bit of the, the bigger numbers, right? So minus five, minus five, minus 490, oh. This is going to take me a while. I'll get used to this. This is I've not done a change challenge before. So it's a little... So we have $32.70. So minus 5, minus 4.90. And then 70. So minus 475. And we're left with four. All right, so we so four seventy five, four eighty, four eighty five, four ninety, four ninety five, and five dollars. And then we can take away the four forty five. Uh, 
Wow, that's like actually a pretty good chunk. Not bad, not bad. So that's the cheese challenge. Um, oh, which container was I planning to put it in? And that's the interesting bit. All right, I will think about it because the containers I have right now is what I used for my other rollover challenge, which I plan to put in the bank, but haven't got around to doing it. So I do need to make allocations for this money. That's all right. I will sort that out tomorrow. So for now, I'll just put it in here. And the only reason why I'm not mixing it up is because I have made a count of that. I would like to put that in the bank. At least that's what I think I'm going to do. And then um, take it from there. Yeah, so that's my rollover. Um, I'm not going to call it Rollover Tuesday because it never happens on a Tuesday anymore. It's just life. Um, I hope you guys, I have been posting on Instagram um, a few videos of how I'm doing my Advent Challenge, the 24 um, envelopes challenge. for. So every day to Christmas Day, I'm going to stuff these envelopes and I'm going to have some monies to unstuff on Christmas Day and that's going to be my little Christmas present to myself because usually every Christmas I will buy something a little expensive for myself whether it be like a, a gift pack like a skincare gift pack from Mecca or um, you know something like that but this year I haven't and I'm not sure what I wanted so I thought oh how nice would it be if I have this cash and then I could splurge on what I want at least that's what I'm telling myself all right, everyone, that's my rollover video for this time round. I hope you enjoyed it and do consider um, hitting the like button and subscribe. Um, next video will be a cash stuffing or a cash condensing. Not too sure, but one of those will be around the corner. So take care, everyone. Make sure that you are kind to yourself, kind to everyone else. Until the next time. Bye.